Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to have a fun, quick video today. I am going to be watercolor painting a peacock. Now if you wait till the very end, I've actually dubbed in the sound a peacock makes and it's pretty annoying. So anyway, stick on till the end and just to hear that, it'll be worth it. Uh, please like and subscribe and share the video with your friends. Hope you have a good day. Here we go. So I like to start with the eyes a lot of time, and not just on my bird and fish portraits, but also um, my human portraits when I do those. I did do a Steve Carell. I'll put a, a link up top there for you to look at it. And the reason I do the eyes or the most, uh, what I feel is one of the most important things of the, the painting first is because... It, I tend to try really hard to make it look good and then that gives me inspiration to keep trying hard to do the rest of the painting well. Uh, for example, if I just sort of did the, the beak and the beak didn't turn out, I would probably throw it out and start over again. So I tend to try and really work hard on the eyes in this case. Now I've got to admit, um, and this is how silly I am, I wasn't out to paint a peacock. I uh, saw this picture, this reference photo of this bird, which happened to be a peacock, and I uh, I was painting away and painting away, and then finally when I was done, I, I said to myself, I wonder what kind of a bird this is, and I looked it up, and I said, oh, man, this is a peacock, how did I not know that? But I guess growing up as a, as a child, there's a peacock in a zoo in my city here. I haven't, I haven't seen a real peacock in 35 or 40 years, but anyway... Um, I've always just sort of looked at the feathers, the big tail feathers, because that's typically what's so prominent about a peacock. And I didn't even know this was a peacock head, but then I, as I was looking through, I thought, oh, well, there you go. Um, the one thing about this bird that I did notice that I thought was kind of neat, it doesn't have traditional head feathers that are sort of soft and laying on top of each other. It actually has like cushions of little feathers um, or bunches or almost like little marshmallows well, that's probably a terrible word I know um, but they're little plops of uh, feathers so when I was doing that to paint the detail it was a little bit easier you can see just right there how I'm just kind of putting little dots in and it was so much easier to do that than to try and figure out how to do flat layers there's a little bit of uh, white gouache on the eye to have the highlights pop out a bit there as well. Um, lots of different blues as you can see. I think I had five different blues ranging from uh, Prussian blue, ultramarine blue. I had a, a blue yellow tint in there as well. Um, so that was kind of neat. The, um, the beak, as I was doing the beak, it didn't really have a prominent color. It was almost like a fleshy uh, violet pinkish tone. And uh, now right there, that's where the feathers were sort of laying a little bit better. More like a normal bird, if I could call it that. But um, that back tail feather, <laughs> it's not a tail feather, it's a head feather. That was a crazy looking thing to do. Um, but you can see on the top of the head there, it was just a matter of plopping down paint. And so it was actually kind of easy uh, as a nice change. Uh, a little bit of green underneath for... Not so much, um, they've, they've got a, a, a nice palette in their feathers between the blues and the greens. It was mostly blue. But anyway, if you like this type of video, please hit like and subscribe. I really enjoyed doing this one. It was a fun one. It took me about 50 minutes. Um, there's the little extensions on the back holding up his, um, I don't even know what to call it, a crown? Is that what you would call it? Leave me a comment below if you think it's a crown or if you've got a better idea headdress maybe it's a headdress let's go with headdress that sounds better but hope you're having a great day and uh thanks very much and i'm going to cancel out my voice so you can actually hear what a peacock sounds like it's maybe even a little bit annoying anyway have a great day